So I thought I'd do a vlog quickly, just a quick update because I've really not spoken to you guys properly for a really long time. Um, just like Patricia talking and stuff like that. So I thought, let me just do this. There's, I know there's plenty that you guys want to know about. I will get to it. Then fast forward. No, don't do that, please. Okay, so just in general, oh, loads, loads of stuff. Loads of stuff always happens. Obviously, if I don't have a conversation with someone for like four months lots and lots has happened um i've had loads more subscribers thank you guys for coming and i want to do one of those question and answer things again so if you guys haven't like you don't know much about me and there's any questions you want to ask me go ahead and leave those questions below i'm going to um do a video where i address all of these questions at some point really really soon um yeah in like life you know, has its ups and downs, you know how it is. There's been a lot of changes. I'm not gonna talk about all of them yet um, until like, we'll see what happens in the future, you know? And, um, oh, I just wanna like clear the air and stuff because it seems that sometimes my videos are being taken in the, or some of the things that I say are being taken in the wrong way by people. And, you know, I just wanna apologize. No, I don't wanna apologize actually, I'm not doing anything wrong. But um, I just wanna say that anytime I do a video or any of those like really sarcastic statements I made, they're not directed at any individual. It could be directed at a stereotype. If you fit the stereotype, then, so you'll probably be offended by what I say but truly I don't direct anything I say at anybody like I'm not that kind of person and I hope you guys like my true followers and subscribers you know that I don't I don't mean any harm it's just my form of like humor um and also I'm not on Twitter or on Blackberry and I'm just about on Facebook so I'm not the kind of person who goes around on the internet making statements so if you know like I can't defend myself if there are any times that statements are being made about me or towards me but um like my advice people is don't do that no -uh, don't do that so I hunt you down no I'm joking I really won't but um yeah just don't like for me I'm like I'm really good like not really grown but I'm you know quite mature and I really don't have time for tweeting statements regarding other people and I wouldn't want people to do that um about me either so yeah, I just want to clear that I, uh, in no way do I mean anything towards anybody. Um, I'm feeling a bit, it's good, like, it's getting really cold now. Um, and my house, like, I live in a really big house and it's, like, it's never warm. Like, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It's, like, it's just breezy. Every time you walk into a room, it's, like, breeze everywhere. I'm, like, oh, God, <laughs> help me. And it's only October. Um... That's it really. The garden is looking gorgeous. Do you want to have a look at it? I'll show oh, yeah, yeah, let's show you the garden. This is what the garden's looking like right now. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. This is I think um October's the best time for my garden. And I do a lot I do a lot of filming in there and I I, I don't I'm scared of foxes. There's there's quite a few foxes, I won't even lie, so <laughs> I just kind of stay in the top part of the garden, don't go down the other end. But that's random you don't need to see that um fashion wise you know i'm switching it up i think i'm trying to be a bit more grown up and stuff like that and maybe gone other days that i can wear cut off shorts and ripped t-shirts and stuff as it get no i'm joking probably won't um it's really hard for me because the guy in the industry that i work in like i don't what you see me on youtube like is not what i look like at work no way like i i'm very professional like I wear a suit and like it's very like very like structured and stuff I just about can wear like a coloured bangle or something and I probably don't wear any jewelry but yeah I do want to dress a bit more mature I've been looking at some amazing blogs amazing blogs recently and I'm like oh like I know I must be late but I really like the blonde salad like oh that kind of Swedishness it's so amazing oh my god and then okay I'm blabbing about all this stuff, but in general, life's good. Life's always good. God is always good to me. So, um, yeah, I have no complaints and I'm not somebody, I don't like to moan. I don't like to complain no matter what's going on in my life because it will always work out good for me personally. Um, and I know that and I really believe that. So, wedding update. I know you guys want to hear about this. Um, um getting married um um getting married five months getting married five months getting married yeah i'm getting married in five months 
shock horror i've got a date and everything ready i have a venue so like okay let, let, let's really vlog let's really vlog well i'll tell you what it's been like for me recently well not recently previously i was literally bridezilla i'm like i was like crying all the time because i couldn't find a venue and my guests are like 350 like my guests are now 250 guests um because I couldn't find a venue to see all those people. Like, I had a quote of, you know, call this beautiful venue. Botley Mansion is exactly what I want to... Um, it, it's like my ideal wedding venue. You can Google it and stuff. And, you know, I called them up and they were like, oh, you know, they, how many guests do you have? I was like, oh, 250. Or oh, 350. And then she was, no, that was 250, I actually said to her. And she's like, okay, let me just total that up. That'll be £48,000. For those of you who don't know how to use Google Converter, that is um, about $68,000, maybe more than that, $70,000. I don't have $70,000 to spend on a wedding. So it was really hard and I was getting, well, I was getting quite high quotes, which is fair enough. Not like £48,000 was the highest quote I ever heard. I was like, you guys are insane. But um, like I was going to quite a few hotels, um, and I hate hotel venues anyway. I wanted like a country mansion. That's what I wanted for my wedding and, and You know, it was just not nice and you don't even get exclusive use of the pro of the venue I'm Like, What is this and it's like no, I really don't want it and like hire only was a lot of money Yeah, so but I found a lovely venue um, And I'll show it to you Actually, I'll show it to you that's that's the venue. I don't want you to know where it is because I don't want you lot just turning up on my wedding day, you know. Um, so that's it from the front. I'll show you all the details as well. But before I found this venue, I was so stressed out. I was crying all the time. I was like, <laughs> you're not helping me, Maureen. Like, Maureen's maid of honour. Yay, Maureen. What, where was your venue hunt going on? Where was your venue hunting? And I know I'm difficult. So maybe that was an issue. Michael, my God. We, let's just... We love him, but we just go sit down go sit down baby go sit on the bench because <laughs> some of the venues that he suggested i was like are you well <laughs> like he would have literally just done it in like a local church hall <laughs> church hall wedding <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that but so i thought the camera stopped but um that's not me so this is my beautiful venue i'll give you some close-ups as well this is the hall where we well the room that we get married in it is beautiful there's a lake there's peacocks that live on the ground they're like white peacocks though but they're still cute like the grounds are gorgeous and everything and it's got private gates and i and i'll get to stay like the whole venue is mine for the day private no one else there beautiful grounds beautiful drive up it's like you're going to the south of france it is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and i think for me that i want this is the thing the vision i had when i got married that people will come and it's like a retreat for them they can come they can enjoy they can walk around they can eat and just like breathing like really nice country air get out of the city because all of us are are city city lovers and stuff and it's like <sighs> have a bit of countryside you know and I love the like authenticity of um of country houses and stuff like that so that's my venue I'll show it to you close up as well so that is the um venue from the front oh I don't even know what I'm doing hope the light's not too bright on it that's gorgeous and this is the ceremony room it's all marble flooring and just everything is gorgeous it's got gold leaf everywhere just all that gold leaf is like so fabulous and look at the happy bride and groom that could be me I look better than that though. And that's the room where we have dinner on the grounds. Like if only, a, oh God, I don't even know what I'm doing. You can't see it all, but you can get an idea basically. Okay, so really, I'm really excited about the whole thing. I've even got like a wedding book now. Now, if you want to see it inside, it says, what, well, <laughs> mine doesn't even say wedding book. It says wedding planning, Mike and Butchie. Butchie's my um, Nigerian name and we just refer to me as Butchie. 
But the thing is, I'm like a, a you know, must don't know me that well. I'm like a really boring person. I'm like Excel spreadsheets. I've got spreadsheets for days. Like they've got formulas in there. They're calculating profit, lost revenue, um, extras. Like I've got us. Our budget is on point. And um, another thing we were still thinking about is like honeymoon destinations. And I'm I'm on a toss up between the Caribbean. Because everyone goes to the Caribbean, you all see those sandals adverts like I've had the time of my life and I You know when you see those adverts you're like oh my god I want to go there wherever it is But then I'm like I could go to like Asia but I've already been to Asia but I don't know, or South America. South America is a real big option, and then Africa has been an option, but recently it's been quite dangerous in both South America and Africa. So it's like, where do you go? Any suggestions on amazing um, honeymoon destinations? I love, and I'm just still having a few issues with like, I don't have a photographer yet, and I'm not gonna spend a thousand, two thousand pounds on a photographer. So if anyone got some wedding photography ability, you know, wanna hook me up? <laughs> Need a hook up? Um, I do have caterers, I do have staff, so we're gonna have all lovely waiters like dressed up in. Um, maybe I'll put them in traditional wear or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, we've got our waiters and stuff. What don't we have? What else don't we have? Well, we haven't picked our lace, if anyone knows what that means. We haven't picked our, like, colour co coordinated fabrics yet. So I'm going to do that in the next few weeks. I don't have a wedding dress yet. No wedding dress. But there's loads and loads to do. But I'm really, really excited about the whole thing. And it's, um, it's, it's an experience, really. And it's five months. But the, the main thing that I'm really excited about is we've now started our, um, we're having premarital counselling. And I think anybody who, you know, wants to get married, blah, 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 you need to go for counselling, okay? You need to prepare yourself for being a wife and a husband, obviously. And our pastors um, literally are um, specialists in marriage and they really are called to... So yeah, we've started marriage counselling and like preparation and everything and it's really given us great insight, more insight into each other. We know most of this stuff but like what it's actually like and getting advice from wise counsel makes a big difference in, in the lives of the young and I really am glad that I kind of found these people to do it for, well not found them, God found them for us. <laughs> And we want to build our marriage on like the strongest foundation you could ever build it on because after the wedding and all that jazz, you got to live together, you know. <laughs> I got to look at his smelly socks. No, his smart socks don't smell. He's actually very, very neat. So yeah, uh, wedding preparation and building that strong foundation is amazing right now. We went to like our first session and we both left like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we're such nerds. Anywho, that is my update as it stands. It's been ages since like um, we last talked. So yeah, if you want to ask me any other questions, leave a comment below um, and I'm going to do a video. And anything that you want to see, any kind of videos, ideas, yeah, let me know. All right, guys, bye.